Welcome, everyone. It's the Jenkins User Experience Special Interest Group. Today is March the 1st, 2023. Uh, great to have everybody here. Topics that I've got on the list for today include keyboard usability, UI improvements, recent UI improvements, what's coming in UI improvements, deprecation of Jenkins JavaScript libraries, work in progress. Good, let's put those as... And user feedback, um, had a good post from Jerry in the community on, on usability and usability concerns. Are there any other topics that need to go on? Oh, and one more, which is that I need someone who is willing to take over the meeting. I can stay for about 20 minutes, but then I need to hand control over to someone else to take, take the leadership of the meeting. Do I have a volunteer? Uh. Sorry, Uli, did was did did I hear you volunteering or was that not a volunteer? Nope. Okay. So given that, then we may have to, if we don't get a volunteer, we may have to end the meeting at 20 minutes because I, I don't have much opportunity in terms of flexibility on my end time. I'm happy to, Mark. Oh, okay, Christina, if you're willing, then what yeah. we'll do is at about 20 minutes in, I'll transfer ownership of the meeting to you. Let's sure. be sure that I've shared this <laughs> so that you can edit the notes. I'm a terrible note taker, but I'll do my best. Well, and that's that's welcome to the club. <laughs> yes. Okay, great. Thank you. Thanks for being willing. Yep. All right. So any and I don't hear any other proposed agenda topics. So let's go ahead. Christina, you want to take on improved keyboard usability first? Yeah. Um, so due to some other priorities, I haven't made as much progress on this as I'd like. So kind of where we're at is we need to, at, at CloudBees at any rate, I'm not sure of the accessibility work done within the community, um, we need to achieve um, WCAG level AA compliance. To do so, there are some major kind of issues within the open source. Uh, code that we need to um, fix, which are easy enough. Like I don't, none of them are tremendously heavy lifting. They're all front end, front end in nature. But the issue is um, on our side. Like as we go through this, all of this accessibility work, we need to kind of patch our process for merging things into, say, uh, the unified release um, branch because. Otherwise, we're always going to be chasing this and we're not going to be able to say like, yes, we have a process in place that makes sure that any new changes are accessible. So I kind of need to touch base with some people internally to figure out like kind of a best practice that we could set. I was hoping to piggyback on what's happening with FIPS compliance, not in the same way, but kind of use that same model perhaps um, to approve pull requests. Um, but I can walk you through if there's interest or maybe this warrants. Is there an accessibility SIG? There is not. There's not. Is there an accessibility um, initiative on DOSS? They're only For within interest? the context of the UX SIG. Okay. Okay. So, so yeah, I mean, I can walk you through the issues if you'd like. Sorry, I hear someone trying to talk. Go ahead. Was I interrupting someone? Nope, I think go ahead. Okay. All right. Um, so obvious, I mean, I'm sure you all have like some baseline familiarity with, with accessibility. Kind of until now, the way we've tried to tackle it is like, here's a laundry list and an Excel file, you know, hit stuff and, and try to, you know, fix fix the broken without really like building a process. And I hate the word process because everybody like has baggage with it, but we need to establish a workflow to make sure that like from the get go, we're not like chasing errors. We're actually like meaningfully staying on top of it and factoring it into new work. So currently there are some issues with kind of all, all areas of the main navigational area, like the, the main nav, the breadcrumbs, the sidebar, um, kind of the way I'm choosing to tackle this is 
when it so we have customers that are asking for it and when it comes to accessibility audits um like intent really matters right so no one will care about an alt tag on a spacer image if they're stuck in a keyboard trap in the breadcrumb navigation and they can't get out so i think that you know it's far more useful to fix the foundation like the bigger issues which are the scarier ones but they're not um and get those working so that at least a user can navigate through a page from start to finish using an accessible device if they need to and then the lower hanging fruit we can tackle kind of as we go so i'm kind of breaking up my um plans into like a phase one phase two phase three phase one is 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 the the kind of the framework navigation around everything else so the main nav breadcrumbs and sidebar and especially if you have a build in progress i just you know if you go through with your keyboard you'll find all kinds of traps and i mean we tend to do like the ideal path with like no opening of submenus and things like that. And it's like, well, I can get through, open a submenu and you will get stuck <laughs> or have a build in progress. You will get stuck in the side nav, things like that. So I can create tickets for the open source to fix them. And I'm happy to, um, I mean, accessibility stuff is kind of my thing. Like I'm happy to work with whomever as much as is needed to kind of make sure that what's getting done is is up to those standards accessibility standards um but i would kind of like to get our internal merge process sorted and maybe that can happen concurrently maybe i'm overthinking that um i'm a little reluctant to just throw tickets in the queue um But you guys tell me. So so I'm not sure, Christina. So your concern there of if if you found a keyboard navigation issue in Jenkins, yeah, it seems reasonable to me at least to say, hey, submit an issue. Uh, then anybody could potentially pick it up and work it. Um, is can, can you tell more about what your concerns are? Why you wouldn't My want to do it that way? My concern is like so on our end, like currently there's no um there would need to be an approver on the ticket that probably myself right now at least who can make sure that when the ticket is done it is actually functioning as intended according to best best practices um and that's not just the keyboard navigation that would be making sure that all the area tags are in place for that block of of code things like that okay so 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 what you're saying is if a jira a jira issue is created in the jenkins jira you'd like to have you or somebody somebody you you assign would also be involved in assessing hey did that achieve the objective yeah. that yeah. that sounds like a real positive actually to me i don't think yeah. there's going to be any complaints about extra okay. testing from people okay great what how does it currently work now like if a ticket is created does that person become an approver like or is there an extra step to make sure that no that it's once just we, fix it, we would also want to make sure that any subsequent changes maintain it right yeah and, and to maintain it in subsequent changes the usual way is test automation that checks that it's still well behaved i'm not sure if that yeah, works in this case testing don't doesn't really there, there are levels of automated testing for accessibility you can do. For the point we're at, we really do need to do that manual testing. Okay. Um, so could we could we the mention stuff you? Is lost in in the implementation. Okay. Sorry. So so if you wrote if you raised a, a, a Jira ticket mm -hmm. that said, "Hey, there's this accessibility problem." If you watch that ticket, you'll see when someone submits a pull request because they'll usually link to the pull request and then you can go watch the pull request and actually mention yourself on it or or make your own review comments on the pull request as well that also gives you a prototype build that you can use to perform testing so so i think i think the process we've already got can work for you okay sure we'll give it a try for sure um Okay, so I will go and make those tickets then, I guess. Yeah, so maybe maybe what you and I could do is let's let's plan some time where I can talk you through 
uh, some of those steps so that you you don't run into unnecessary bumps and bruises. I think that'd be great. Yeah. Um, great. Okay. And once we start, then I think it'll start to shake out kind of what what we do from there. Great. All right. Thank you. Any questions or concerns from others on the idea of improving keyboard usability? Is this a problem only in Jenkins Core, or is this also in a lot of plugins? That's going to be subsequent phases. Like right now, with the level of of issues in in those areas, a user realistically using adaptive technology could not get to the plugins. Um, so. I kind of want to fix the pathways first, and so first phase will be the navigation areas, and then we will start to get into plugins and things like that. And those will probably be its own thing that we have to work out too, since the responsibility for those areas may be distributed. Like, you know, like we'll we'll have to kind of figure that out as we go. Um, but if you ever are being scrutinized for accessibility compliance issues, if we kind of tackle it this way, it demonstrates that we have an understanding of the major issues and we are making like an honest attempt to rectify them versus if we fix something that you couldn't get to anyways, it kind of, we want to, we want to be, out, we want to be on the good side of things where we're demonstrating that like, hey, we've got a meaningful path and we get it, like we get what the issues are versus kind of going backwards like that but it will happen yeah and there will probably be some that are perfectly fine and and others where you know great all right any other questions or concerns around improving keyboard usability Okay, next topic I put on the agenda was what's happened recently in UI improvements, specifically the one I've seen is Pipeline Graph Viewer. Tim, this is this one that you wanted to talk to? You want me to talk to it? I think the the additions you, that have been made, the, the changes in log viewing and whatnot are really brilliant. Yep, I can show it. I think just pulling, just checking CIO has it, I think it, Pretty sure it does. Yep. Yeah, I'll just share my screen quickly if that's okay. You bet. Okay. All right, so um, we've had a few contributions recently. Um, on the pipeline um, uh, graph view over the last couple of weeks, going back. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we can now um, transition between previous and next builds on the graph and console views. I'll show, I'll show them all in a second. Um, the logs have had a complete rework from um, a tree on the side to um, um a kind of a main view collapsible card section uh, and the sort of thing um scripted parallel stages have been improved uh, nested script stages so that enables um Uh, the same behavior for this and this and declarative and scripted. There was some special hack stopping that working. Um, and stage labels in the tooltip now show the full um, text. Um, so here's an example. So this is the next build and previous build. Um, you can open and close all the logs. Um, here, and if I go build, 
you get all the output in here. Um, if I, there should be a button for swapping in between them. Is that? Not sure why that's missing. Uh, dun, dun, dun. And then if we go to, if there's a failed build somewhere. Uh... <clears throat> why that failed um, and so yeah you scroll in here um, and there's, there's a lot more output and you can also request more output um, so you can previously you were stuck if there was any if there was any logs missing here but you can now click to get the rest of it um, so yeah basically a ma major rework of the um, of the logs for the pipeline graph view plugin anyway. Um, still more work to be done, um, but it's, it's a lot better than before. Thanks very much. So it looks like Tim Brown did the work and, and you've had two or three contributors. So it's not just you who's working on pipeline graph view now. Yeah, so Tim Brown did the core work um, and I think, Stuart Rowe did this and um, Mike Galfand has done a bit of cleanup as well. That's great, thank you. Uh, I can't. I'm trying to stop screen sharing, but I can't find the button. Oh yeah, let me see if I can find it. I don't seem to have a control. Oh, here it is, found it. Okay, got it. Great. So I'm at a point where I need to transition. I'm going to assign Christina as host. And Christina, you're now you're now going to be the host. So you'll need to share your screen. Uh, let me paste a link to the notes for the meeting into the into the meeting chat so that others can open that if needed. Okay, so there are the meeting notes. So Christina, are you able to, to open up those notes and start sharing your screen? Yep. Perfect. All right. Thank you. Oh, it did not share the right screen. I don't even know what screen that is. Well, I can see, I see the Jenkins UX SIG agenda and notes. Do you? Yeah. Uh, okay. Do you, do you still see it now? Uh, yes. Others confirm as well that they can see. If, so you're scrolling up now. March okay, 1, great. 2023 yep. is roughly at the top. <clears throat> oh, there we go. Okay. All right. All right. You okay, can all so, stumble along with me. <laughs> great. <laughs> there it goes. All right. Thank you. And I'm going to disconnect at this point. My apologies. Things are what they are. Yeah. Have a good day, Mark. Thanks. Okay. So we were at pipeline graph viewer improvements. Was there anything more to say in that for that topic? Or are we, we good? What about what's you coming? Scroll a little bit or zoom a little bit into the details because it's a little bit uh, large. Oh, yeah. This so, is better. No, uh, the other way around as well. Oh, there. So there is too much white uh, on the left and the right. Okay, it's getting better, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, all right, so where were we? Uh, what's coming in UI improvements? Who would like to speak on that? Uh, 
Uh, Tim, do you know if we have something in our progress currently from Jan? I'm not sure if he's preparing something new. Um, he was hoping to get here. He's stuck in another meeting at the moment. Um, he said he might make it halfway through. Um, let me just have a look at what he's got open at the moment. Um, I think I reviewed one pull request, which is about using a tippy for the breadcrumb uh, menus as well. If I remember correctly, this is currently one pull request in Jenkins core. Yeah. So yeah, there's a tippy one that's been open for a while. Um, The only one he's opened recently is the simplify settings name, which I just posted in the chat. Um, that's as a follow up to the um, uh, to the search um, search box on manage Jenkins um, to simplify the name. So not everything has configure at the start of it. And so instead of configure system, it's system. Instead of configure global tools and something it's tools um there's a screenshot on the pr um we're just waiting it's i think everything on that page is on that pr is fine it's just um we want to check that the acceptance test pass but the acceptance tests are broken at the moment um okay. so we need to fix the acceptance test before we can continue on any of these prs really Yep. <clears throat> These are the that's the list of all the PRs. There's quite there's quite a there's a few open. Um I think at least a couple of them are waiting on Daniel's feedback or someone to investigate a couple of issues. Um the other one was the card layout for the dash build on mobile. Um sure if there was anything outstanding there. I'm not sure if you can see the chat, um, Christina, but it might just be worth opening up that pull request and having a scroll through. See what people think. Sure. anyone have any anything to add do we have so many users that are looking at uh Jenkins using the mobile phone I think so there's got a number of people who do use okay. it on their phones if they're doing something from github quickly and then just checking something Okay. Do you guys have analytics uh, about that? Um, or or is it just um, kind of anecdotal? Sure. I don't think the telemetry we collect collect statistics which browser you use. <clears throat> okay. No, I, th I think it's just more about Jenkins and Jenkins version and plugins. I don't. As far as I know, we don't have that information. I'm curious myself, that's why I ask. Okay. But yeah, so more feedback, welcome on that pull request. Um, Nope. Uh, deprecation of Jenkins JavaScript libraries. 
Is there an update to share there? I think uh, this is a topic of the last meeting. Uh, we They are deprecated now and I removed them from my instance and everything is still working. So I think it's fine. Or did someone have problems with removing them? Okay. No, I think I removed it everywhere. Mm -hmm. So work in progress, that's kind of what we just went through. Tickets are open. Uh, is there anything else to add to the work in progress items? But these we already had, or simplify setting names and card layout. Yeah, we've already gone through them. And for feature flags, I'm not sure uh, what the state is. I think we can skip this one till the next meeting. <clears throat> sure. User feedback. Feedback in the I'm disappointed post on community. Is that font size big enough? Yeah. Uh, that's me. You are from me. Yeah. Hi, Gary. Oops, uh, coming, Gary. On yeah. my camera. So, yeah. What else can I say <laughs> regarding this? <laughs> it's quite a lot already, and it's becoming more and more with time. Is this a kind of new tira where everybody can put something into it, or are is all are all these points from you? These are all my personal thoughts or detections. Yeah. Yes, I, I looked at this. Uh, yeah couple of things and I think for a lot of them I think yeah that's really a problem we need to change that and uh, I commented this one a little bit uh, deeper in the uh, list here and yeah I'm not sure how we can handle these making Jira issues like for accessi accessibility I'm not sure if that helps um, uh, yeah. I think the main yeah. problem is we have we have not enough developers to fix these things i think so um, is it is it bruno or is it uli who's talking because there are two commenters it's uli is talking yeah i am bruno but uh uli is one okay. who knows everything about that so i'm just shut up and let uli talk yeah, I should okay change my name here to uli <laughs> so everybody recognizes it so yeah uh, I think you you have a lot of points which are really correct. And um, for instance, making the icons themable, this is a thing we, we talked, uh, I think, almost a year now. But we actually found nobody who is uh, yeah, making progress on this thing. Because but, but there are themes in the general settings, but uh, they don't uh, apply to, to icons, just colors. Is, is it that? I'm not sure if we already support icons because <clears throat> but before yeah before this black and white or not the dark and uh, you know, the dark theme plugin came in, we had a lot of themes that supported different icons. So mm -hmm. this should be possible still. I, I think I'm not sure. So I'm not a, um, so deep in this CSS problems, if it's possible. But since it was possible with the green balls plugin was uh, so one of the favorite plugins that changed the, the icons of the balls formally. And I think uh, something mm -hmm. similar would work with the new icons as well. No, uh, the, the, the old balls were graphics, images, yeah? Yeah. Uh, 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 bitmap images, yeah, PNG or GIF or whatever, yeah. yeah. The new icons are SVG vector graphics. 
Yes. And I don't know if it's the same process uh, to replace them within a theme. I don't know either. <laughs> yeah. So I hoped that. In theory, I... yes, but in theory, <laughs> Brexit is only theory. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, if it's not this, this is something someone needs to investigate first if it's possible. So this was my yeah. assumption that it is, but I never tried it on my own. But what about in general? Should I trade uh, Jira tickets for each of the points and somebody or a, a group or a meeting decides uh, rejected or Yes, will be implemented somewhere. Yeah, I think at least uh, to have a decision if we go for yes or if we go for no, that would be helpful at least. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not sure if it uh, makes sense for every point, but for for instance, the second point here with the drop downs. Yeah. Um, because, because I agree, some of the points are just out of personal taste. Yeah, I know yeah. that. Yeah, it's just my opinion, but I, I said it. Yeah, yeah. and it, yeah. Sorry, I can't speak to the icon question. Number two is definitely almost completely covered by the accessibility work that's going to be that a ticket will be created for this month, um, along with a few other things. Anytime there's an inconsistent browser um, behavior, those will be captured um, in the accessibility work that's going to be underway. And that's the only thing I can say to that one, for number two at least. Oh, sorry, I, I, I meant uh, the two, uh, there are two twos on the main two. Yeah. The main two, yeah. So this is something. Um, Oh, okay. Let's see. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if it helps to, to show it actually on screen, but I think there are a lot of points which make sense to write to Jira. So we can discuss it in Jira and maybe we can get some words as well. So we see is it uh, a common sense or is it just a single opinion? So some uh, but uh, it, I, i'm not sure if it ha it's there are a lot of issues and um normally we, ch we just need someone to 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 look after them and currently we don't have someone looking after them so i'm not sure if what to do actually uh, i can offer to solve some of these issues points, which can be solved with a theme yeah, by myself, by creating a theme mm -hmm. that looks more like the, the classic view. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it, it's, maybe it's, a, uh, it's just a, a rough guess. It's a third of the points could be, could be handled by, by a theme. An according theme, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so these are not really issues, but yeah, matter of taste. Yeah, but other things like uh, yeah, um, hidden hidden action <laughs> items, yeah? action uh, controls widgets, yeah, which pop up on hover, yeah. And then I have to move to them in another step yeah, and kick them. Yeah, this cannot, this is yeah, mm -hmm. CSS selection. Yeah. Uh, selection of the CSS li library behind. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So what do you think? It's the best thing to create issues for most of them? And then discuss <laughs> them individually. It's, there are so many. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. If if the process has to be followed, yeah, then uh, Jira issues are needed. Yeah. 
I know that because I work with Jira in my job as well daily. Um, I don't want and putting all these um, uh, these major points into Jira issues is quite a work. Yeah? Yes. And <laughs> I don't want to avoid investing this work and then nobody looks at it for months or even years yeah and finally they are closed automatically because of uh, will not yeah. be implemented yeah <laughs> then my, my time is wasted for me personally yeah. yeah that's why i'm asking so we we already had some uh, ux uh, yeah, reviews for jenkins uh, a couple of years ago and this was a, a 200 pages document and we pasted it in Jira and actually nobody looked at it. So yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. yeah. So I think for each of these issues, you need someone driving them and we currently don't have someone driving them. The only one uh, really working in UX is uh, Tim and uh, Jan, at least for core. So I'm not sure. If, uh, yeah. What what do you exactly mean by driving? Uh, having someone who's poking others to do it or do it him or herself? What do you mean by driving? Driving the process or driving the actual work? Yeah, yeah actually, the actual work. We currently have nobody uh, doing actual work mm -hmm. in Jenkins anymore. So, so uh, sorry for being that open, but um, I'd like to be clear in, in my in my speech. Uh, so this can be summed up to if you would like to have it, do it yeah, yourself. Yeah. Is it somehow like that? I, I accept it. That's and it would be a nice um, challenge for me as a developer and part-time designer uh, to 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 learn these things yeah, and to do it and then see the result and be happy with it yeah, yeah. it's no problem for me the, pro the only problem is time yeah? I, have, I have a full-time job which is challenging itself um, but <laughs> I I'm allowed to, retri to retire in six and a half years. <laughs> Maybe then, and then at least then I have, I'm going to have enough time. Yeah. No. So yeah. I, I, I try to do it. Yeah. I have to, to investigate how to do it. Yeah. Because I have some ideas how it could be done but i'm not sure yeah i'm just guessing yeah and and yeah, and this takes yeah to become used to the things to read manuals to get information that are not in the manuals yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. and from whom who is the right the right contact person for a specific question yeah that's what i don't know yet yeah yeah, the clue is we don't have someone <laughs> who is responsible for it. So the best thing is to post to the UX group uh, in, in the GitHub channel. And I mm -hmm. think the best thing also would be to pick your most uh, important point uh, and try to start with that and leave the others on the left for the, for the moment and just start with one point. And then yeah. we can get a discussion about this point in our UX meeting notes. Yeah. Most important for me, for my, from my point of view, or most important, generally spoken. Yeah, now for you. For, for me, you. okay. Yeah, that's, that's the easier decision. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Adrian easy, is huh? proposing in the chat to create an epic ticket to centralize all those points and each of them in a separate ticket on, under Jira. If you know how to do that, uh, please, Gary, don't hesitate. Because guitar is fine, but the thing is, um, information tends to be lost because it's not really well structured. And so yeah. we we'll have discussion in guitar and then also something more formal uh, within Jira with an epic. That's a good idea for me. Uh, mm -hmm. Adrian, thank you for proposing. 
I, I didn't follow the chat there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, that's how epics and, and issues work, yeah. <laughs> Jira wise, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I, I think it it's okay if you have uh, an epic, but uh, I think it would work with labels as well. So I think don't put 20 points in it now, uh, which will never get finished because nobody is there. Just start with one and then maybe you can provide some, yeah, e even if you don't provide the code, you can provide some sketches or screenshots or how to make it better. Or you can investigate how to, yeah, to replace SVGs in a theme, for instance. These mm. are things, um, yeah, which okay. need to be done. Okay. And <laughs> how are the chances that if I come to a solution or a proposal, yeah, how are the chances that it will be accepted by the community or whoever, whoever is in charge to accept it? Yeah. Because I had my experiences in life, yeah, and I had so many ideas, and I went to the the powers to be, yeah, and they say, "Great, yeah, that you invested this time, great for your for interest, for your cooperation, yeah." Uh, but sorry, no, we don't implement it. Yeah. Yeah. And all the time, okay, I learned a lot during the investigations and then and the research, yeah, but. Yeah, there was no final result. Yeah, other than this, yeah. so and and that, yeah, and and I'm that old that I don't want to waste <laughs> time. <laughs> I don't have so many time left in my life. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that's a good point. So I, I think the best thing is to start with this one topic and. First of all, before you implement something, discuss it on Gitter so we can have a discussion around this point. Mm -hmm. And if a lot of people agree, then we can start with an implementation and maybe it's a draft pull request so we can get feedback very early. And then you see before you spend too much time, you see if it's yeah the right direction or not. Mm -hmm. so okay. You're right, it does not make sense that you are now uh, taking a break of two months working and presenting everything and then we say oh, no, this does not make sense so I think mm -hmm. early feedback would help so even if you don't implement something and provide uh, screenshots or mock-ups or whatever it helps to discuss the topic okay yeah sounds good yeah so and I'm curious what which is your most important topic <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, around the corners is, is a minor issue. That's just personal taste. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, maybe the the drop down, the high, hidden drop down menu menu in the uh, breadcrumb bar, which okay. appears just on over. Yeah. Yeah. That and and, and which. Uh, resizes uh, uh, replaces link targets. Yeah, yeah. That, that is totally distracting. Yeah, because you expect to click there, and an action is is taken, but the link target yeah shifts right or left. Yeah, for there that matter. Be, there will be a ticket coming for the drop down menus in the breadcrumbs. Okay. Just to flag any possible redundant work that might happen there. Um, yeah. So I, I leave this out. Yeah. But is only a ticket coming or an implementation as well? From our side? Yes. It'll be implementation, like, oh, okay. um, if not if not exact, but heavy, heavily guided so that we can make okay. sure that it's, it's okay. um, yeah. accessible yeah. and done right. Uh, another topic that covers a few of my points is um, uh, screen estate. Yeah, which is wasted. Yeah, by vertical spacing. Yeah, that means uh, increased scrolling. Yeah, it means if you if you in the in the sidebar menu. Yeah, 
-hmm. On the dashboard, there are the build queues and uh, the build executors below. The bigger the menu, or the, the taller the menu is above, yeah, the less uh, build queue items are displayed below. Mm -hmm. and, and I worked in a company where we had so many that I had to scroll to see all the, the, the running builds, currently running builds. Yeah? Yeah, and, and scrolling is bad, yeah? if it is avoidable yeah? by a condensed menu, for instance, in this case. Yeah. Yeah, and, uh, and, and for the drop down minutes, it's, it's the same. Yeah, and the bigger the, the vertical uh, space, yeah, the longer you have to go uh, to, to move the mouse yeah, to come to a menu item. Yeah. It's just, just a few centimeters, yeah, but it sums up, yeah, yeah. In, in an eight hour day and in a 50 hour month and in the 365 days a year. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think the sidebar uh, is something which is Jan also trying to improve and to, yeah, to restructure because, uh, yeah, currently there are too many items in the sidebar and I think uh, he made already some progress but currently the progress is only visible in the Jenkins administration section, which I'm not using at all. So I'm using configuration as code. So I just want to see the build results and yeah, nobody's working on that topic currently. So yeah, this mm -hmm. is something we can improve, I think. Okay. Do we want any follow up on this or just leave it for discussions and Gitter and then uh, ticket creation for now? I think uh, it would helpful if we have this one topic in Gitter channel and then we'll bring it in the next meeting, this one. Gary, if that's fine for you. That's yeah, that's this. fine. Yeah, totally fine for me. Yeah. Okay. All right, thank you, Jerry. Uh, Jenkins okay. 70394 resolved. That's good. Um, anything else to, to add to that? No. Is that everything then that we wanted to cover this week, this month? Oh everything thank you like it <laughs> all right well thank you very much everybody um and we'll see us in one month yeah see you on the channel okay okay bye good month everyone bye bye